How's it going, everybody? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today on Anime Reaction, we watch the 24th episode of ReZero. If you want to check out our reaction to the 24th episode of ReZero, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section, because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga, and don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So, this time on Re Zero, we got another return uh, by death. This is probably the best return by death that Subaru's ever had. Yeah, like, it has to be. Bar he nine. does like everything right in this one. Um, so basically, he returns by death from what happened at the end of the last episode, right when they're getting ready to uh, subjugate the witch's cult. Yeah, so his save point did. Uh, improve. <laughs> Definitely yep. didn't want to fight against a white whale again. Yeah, that good. actually, that actually worried me. Yeah, yeah. That it was gonna be before, for uh, at a very inconvenient time. Well, the the fortunate thing about the return by death is that it, it hasn't had a save point that initiated at a really inconvenient time. It's always during a very calm moment, like in the marketplace or, uh, again, here after the white whale was killed off. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, there are varying degrees of inconvenience, but hmm. that, that is true. This is a pretty good uh, save point, though. Yeah. Um, anyway, so Subaru basically tells them everything that's going to happen. Without necessarily putting it in those words. And without uh, revealing Return My Death either, so club yeah. fur. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually more curious about how he managed to do that rather than uh, what actually happened. <laughs> and I'm also curious why the witch kind of let him get away with it. Or is it just kind of like a... No, I mean, the witch really doesn't do anything unless he, like, actually is or, going to straight up say, or mention Oh, I can come right. back from the dead. Yeah, uh, true. Or, you know, I have returned my death or whatever. But I am, I would, I would kind of like to see how he actually convinced them that he knew all this information without making it sound too, um, Mm. Too weird, <laughs> you know. Too, probably, uh, go, well, pr uh, probably going off his track record now. Yeah, I, I suppose. But anyway, so they they decide to spread misinformation to the uh, to the people who are spies for the for the witch's cult, and basically t give them a schedule that's two hours later than what's actually going down. <laughs> and then Subaru go, goes ahead and sends Wilhelm to the uh, to the mansion to try to convince Amelia. And Subaru also manages to steal Amelia's cloak, which it was revealed in this episode that it's imbued with some sort of magic that hides the user's identity. Or uh, at least makes them unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. Yeah. Which, if you watch the reaction at first, I'm like, Jesus, I didn't realize Amelia was that stupid. But then it reveals. It, it makes it makes a lot more sense knowing knowing that bit of information. <laughs> yes, yes, it especially does. especially the that point um, where Amelia is talking about tr not not wanting to be on the same carriage with a bunch of kids. Which, who actually wants to do that anyway? But um, Subaru Subaru decides that you know, or Subaru says something to the extent of um, you know, if things go bad here, you know, that wouldn't be very good for your wish in the future. And who are you, mysterious masked person? Wait, I mean, are you? <laughs> yeah. So. It seems so very weird, especially when you can see the majority of his face. Well, yeah, not but, just his face, but his very peculiar clothes. Yeah. Anyway, it makes a lot more sense knowing that it's that it's a magical cloak. 
um, successfully. I also didn't waved. realize that it was Amelia's cloak until they actually said it. I just thought he borrowed a cloak from one of those cat people, but borrowed. Um, the oh, it also revealed that in order to prevent Ram from attacking the group. They rode with big ass wooden plank sign saying, you know, the 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 letter was a mistake, I'm sorry, or <laughs> or whatever. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's all my fault. The letter was a mistake. That was a funny scene right there. Just, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. But so they managed to oh sorry. Also in a flashback during the same time as the writing with the signs. It showed Subaru uh, basically uh, kowtowing to the villagers to get them to... To side with Amelia. Yeah, to, to get them to understand Amelia a little bit, I think. Painfully. Painfully. Yeah. Like bashing his fucking forehead against the ground. But it works. They manage to get all the villagers away. They send half to the capital and they send half to the sanctuary. Uh, where Roswall is. I believe uh, Amelia and the kid's carriage went to the capital? I think so. Probably. That's probably where I would send them, just because Amelia, you know, is mm-hmm. the... Is and I, I only say I only say that because it actually wasn't said. However, Ram did say, I'm also going to go to the sanctuary, so I can only infer that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. From memory. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we only watched it once. Just now, actually. Um, but then, uh, then it shows the uh, it shows the group like sneaking up on the on the traitor on the guy who was a who was a, a spy, spy for the cult, uh, which was a very awesome scene. But uh, all all together. Um, Every, all the all the smaller groups took care of all the underlings of sloth Beetlejuice, and then they finally went and uh, took care of Beetlejuice himself. Well, they went to go confront confront Beetle- him, confront him, yeah. Which this time, instead of just killing him right away, um, and I assume they're trying to prevent him from like. Um, Spreading his consciousness around, or something. that's what I'm thinking. They wanted to isolate the main guy and then like destroy him in one fell swoop. I well, think I have a feeling that um, Julius's magic is probably going to come into effect here. Yeah, like perhaps like just completely destroy all of him, including his soul or something like that. Yeah, because that magic can do a lot of amazing stuff, especially with a powerful spirit arch user like Julius. Well, yeah, uh, I was thinking in the, I think it was the second episode when it showed, um, might have been the third episode, when it showed, um, oh, so uh, Reinhardt? Yeah, yeah Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Right. God, he's been, Reinhardt. he's been away so long. I was hoping he'd come back with Felt, but. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I want Reinhardt and Felt in the story. Jesus. That, maybe, that's, maybe next part, that's part of what, what makes me so irritated that. It takes so long to do the redos, mm. but but um, yeah, in like the second or third episode, it showed Reinhardt not even using one of the the like holy swords or whatever, mm, just a regular disintegrating sword. an entire fucking house when he is when he is that magic. So we we know that the spirit spirit arts are powerful, really Very powerful. powerful. And, and here we and, are, and Julius has. A, oh. has a holy sword or holy sword and he's a more powerful spirit arts user uh, more or less well I mean if you're comparing him to Reinhardt I think Reinhardt's actually more powerful <laughs> I don't know it's very it's it very hard, hard to, to tell see. just how little we've seen of both of them in the series I almost wish they would fight I kind of do too I, do, I kind of do too but I mean, even um, even if just if I remember the hype around Reinhardt in the very very beginning of the series, I think he's supposed to be the most powerful knight. Yeah. Again, that was a while ago. That that was literally half a year ago. Like, if you want to think about it that way. True. Just <laughs> that, that, that was like almost, yeah, that was almost six, weeks ago. That was almost six months ago. 
So the fact that I remember that with how much anime we watch is amazing. But so basically, Subaru leads um, Subaru. Oh, actually, before before I get to that part, it was actually very important what Beetlejuice said to Subaru when Subaru was pretending to want oh, to yeah. become one of uh, mm-hmm. about uh, uh, about how they are they are trying to figure out if the vessel is worthy enough. Basically, they're trying to reincarnate the witch into Amelia's body. And if Amelia is worthy, then well, they get their she gets completely taken over and, you know, basically her consciousness is pretty much dead. But if she's, if she's not worthy, she then, the, then the witch would reject her and probably destroy her body. Probably destroy her, but she'd find a way to come back anyway, I think. No, no. Uh, I, I think the big thing here is to make sure that the witch can't, you know, can't uh, even try. Yeah. But that that pisses off Subaru, obviously. Um, I, I do want to I do want to laugh at the uh, little bit of a reference with their uh, surprise attack. Uh, what was it? The code word that that, Tor- uh, that launched the attack on Pearl Harbor. Yeah, Tora, Tora, Tora. Tora. Well, at least this episode didn't air in December, right? Right. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I, I, I got the reference. Yeah. I got the reference. There we go. I definitely there, got the yeah. reference. The, the code word to launch their surprise attack was Tora, 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 which, by the way, was hilarious that it was said by a cat person because it literally means tiger, 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 tiger. tiger. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, that... And and that, right. that's why we were laughing at that part because it, yeah. it's we got amusing to a uh, so amusing to a war. military buff. Um, but the the fight between Julius and Beetlejuice, which has has now begun, um, I think it's really amusing or re- really interesting how the, how he's able to use Subaru's body mm. for uh, a. Replacement of his own. Well, I, I liked it because it really set it up in the previous episode when when uh, Julius used the spirits that he controls to to basically use Subaru to um, to help everybody get out of uh, yeah, Ram's, Ram's magic. illusion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I kind of like that it didn't just like bring that up and then leave it. But they basically, expanded on it. Yeah, but less. basically, uh, Julius can use can use uh, what was it? Not. Yeah. He can use the. I think it's probably the darkness one. Neck. 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 Yeah, that's, that's a knock. Is the character from Final Fantasy 15? <laughs> um, <laughs> but can use uh, probably the darkness one because it's kind of super his thing, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, use it to link their senses. Which is really interesting. Could you imagine? Really bizarre. Could you imagine fighting, fighting yourself, fighting as yourself in third person? Like you're playing a video game <laughs> like for real. Playing, like you're playing a video game. You can. The only way that you can see is in the third person, which is basically which is basically what's happening here because Julius has to close his eyes in order to use Subaru's. Subaru's ability to see the unseen hands and while you don't see it initially but you do see it like right at the end where Julius is just like slash 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 and Subaru's like I can't blink don't blink don't blink (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but could you imagine actually doing that shit because you that would have just be so bizarre. You It'll... know what? Part of me actually wants to attempt to try. <laughs> like get like I don't know some like VR uh, goggles yeah, and like some a some GoPro VR goggles and find a, yeah basically connect it to a drone. There you go. Just have it fly around you. <laughs> that'd be and hilarious. Try, just try to like live life. <coughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. I totally want to do that. We have to do this now. That's like that's like something that you we put on that. I don't know, let's play channel or something. <laughs> I totally want to do that. We're going to now. Eventually. Eventually. We One have day. to. Talk it's, 
uh, check out Otaku Saga's Patreon. <laughs> Otaku Saga can't this like, at all. Like what? Sims IRL <laughs> or something ridiculous? Oh like no no that. no! I I totally go to like a park, you know, like a like a forest or whatever, oh. and do a uh, do an RPG. Oh, dude! So like so we did like RPG. a LARP like that. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh shit! But it's gonna be good. So. A couple of points that I wanted to mention before we take off here. When we started off this episode, we had a very quick flash of almost the entire series up to this point through Subaru's eyes. Hmm. Now, I think that, that that's rather important uh, and rather nice, actually, because it really starts you know, bringing stuff to the front of, front of the viewer's memory and stuff like that. But another thing that happened was you had the same exact thing happen in Amelia's head well, via yeah, a yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah, she had a nightmare. I assume a nightmare because she didn't wake up very pleasantly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do wonder. I do wonder exactly what she saw. Um, <laughs> I couldn't quite get get the whole gist of it just from just from watching the first time so I'd probably have to go back and rewatch it a couple times to get it all but well, it, if you're talking about uh, Subaru's uh, and Amelia's separate flashbacks then Subaru's was his, like his faux pas in court uh, trying to defend Amelia and then Amelia seemed to be like her argument with Subaru and their kind of parting ways so basically uh, all tied to the events uh, at the beginning of the royal election yeah well so uh, just kind of closing closing statements here all in all i think this is probably my favorite episode of re-zero i would have to agree this is like really close with like rim's confession but yeah this was a damn good yeah episode. that one was good too oh uh, that, that, that was just heart melting but this was this is damn good I, at least at least in the great aspect of it i do want to i do want to admit that the courtroom scene was a fantastic. The, the, the courtroom episode where Subaru gets his ass chewed out, shit like that. Mm -hmm. It was good, only because it actually like brought all sorts of emotions to the to the forefront. It was so bad, it was good. And well, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad episode. No, no, I'm sorry. It was just. It was. It was Subaru hitting rock bottom so hard. You you just felt it. You had no choice yeah. but to feel it. A very emotional episode. You, you really got the, the, This is... Let me put it this way. This is the episode that made me feel the best afterwards. Fair feel enough. The best. Well, well, the Rim episode probably made me... Oh, no. Actually, no, because at the end... Yeah. yeah that bit at the end really kind of irritated me. But anyway... Um, yeah. yeah. So let us, know, let us know what you thought of our reaction and the anime in the comment section below. Yep. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to be for... Uh, I'm so choked we up. We almost this made is, it. Almost made it. That's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.